Good morning, my awesome artists. It is a wonderful day to be an eagle, and we are going to get started with an art activity. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to be talking about the story, You Be You, and I hope you guys like the story. Um, it's about being your own person because no one else can be you. So we're going to be drawing the you be you fish, okay? <clears throat> and how you're going to start is with circle, 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 okay? Okay, I want you guys to get your pencil and an eraser, okay? We got those two things. And then, of course, you're going to need some crayons when it's time to color, okay? All right, so I'm going to start with a marker. I know I have you guys starting with a pencil, but I'm going to start off with the marker so you can see what I'm drawing. Sometimes pencil comes out very, very light, and you guys are like, well, Miss Duncan, I can't tell what you did. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'll draw a marker, and then you guys will be able to see. And I want you guys to create something beautiful. So we're going to start with a circle, and I want your circle to be about the size of the palm of your hand, okay? So we're gonna start with a circle right here, maybe a medium-sized circle right here, and maybe a small one right there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Look, guys, does it match the size of my the palm of my hand? Okay, you tell me what you think. And then I'm gonna draw a medium one about right here. And then a small one. All right. Now, I'm going to draw hat the arc. The arc. And an arc is just basically a curved line, everybody, okay? Arc. And I'm going to do that on all of my circles, okay? All right, everybody see that? You're drawing in pencil, I'm drawing in marker, okay? Everybody got that? Next, I'm going to draw the circles for the eyes of my fish because basically this arc separates this from the rest of the body of the fish, okay? So I'm going to draw circles for the eyes. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the pupils, okay? And I'm just gonna draw it like that, guys, like the fish is looking forward. I'm gonna do the reflection right there. Can't really do a reflection on that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in with black. Okay, then I'm going to draw the mouth of my fish. Just do the best that you can, everybody. Not looking for it to be perfect. Just do the best that you possibly can. Now, here's where things get really interesting. I'm gonna draw another line, another curved line next to my first curved line. This is called a concentric line, a line that's next to another line. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some designs on my fish. And then I can't forget his fins. And as you can see, I just did two lines right there and a trapezoid shape, okay? Next, guys, I think I'm gonna do stripes right here. And 
And then what can I do here? I guess I could do, hmm, I did stripes on this one. I guess I could do, huh, swirly lines, wavy lines. What do you guys think? And then for him, this guy in the back, I could do zigzag. And then maybe some dots. Okay, so there is there are my fish. So I'm gonna pretend that they're swimming underwater. So I'm gonna put in some aquatic plant life that's going up into where my fish are swimming. Everybody see that? I'm just doing loose, wavy lines. Because they are swimming underwater. They're having a good old time swimming underwater. And then guys, it's time for me to color my fish. And I think I'm going to have my fish have cool colors. So remember, cool colors are green, blue, and purple. Those are considered very, very cool, cool colors, all right? I think I'm gonna do this one, turquoise, do their face turquoise. And you know what, I think I'm gonna add some warm colors in there too. Here's the thing guys, if you ever go swimming in the ocean, if you go uh, into, go swimming out in the ocean, or if you ever see pictures of fish that live in the ocean, not the lakes, but in the ocean, the fish there are very, very bright and colorful. Think about like the fish finding Nemo. Look at how bright and colorful he was. And remember Dory? She was very, very bright and colorful, very, very bright blue. All of the fish are very, very bright. So I want you to use very, very bright colors to color your fish. So they look like the fish from the storybook. Almost done coloring, people. And I got my tiny little fish in the back. And you know what? I almost forgot I got to color the lips of my fish.
Okay, and now I'm gonna paint, I'm sorry, not paint, color my aquatic plants. And that's basically plants that grow underwater. Okay, guys. And then last but not least, I gotta color my water. Gotta color the water of where my fish are swimming. I gotta find me a nice blue. I think I'm gonna do a light blue, guys. What do you think? All right. This must be one of those color mix-ups. Yep, it's a color mix-up crayon. I've never used one of these, guys. Can have purple and blue together. All righty, guys. And there you have it. You be you. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Hope you have fun creating it. Can't wait to see what you guys turn into me. Make sure you fully color everything, follow directions, and guys, have fun. I'll see you next time.